just if we can at the Federal Reserve. I mean, the Fed really sounding a bit more hawkish than some had expected. Do you think it's changed um, views somewhat on when tapering is likely to begin? Yeah, I mean, there was a couple of changes to the statement when they one, they talk about a, a moderate pace of growth rather than a modest pace of growth. Uh, and two, as you noted in uh, uh, earlier just now, is um, that they removed this statement about tighter financial conditions being uh, being negative for uh, for growth. Uh, I mean, they're hardly seismic changes, but in the world of central bank speak, I guess these are these are pretty important to take note of. And it seems. I mean, these poor economists, uh, uh, the consensus seems to be pinging around like a, uh, like a pinball, doesn't it? I mean, we started off in September, then we moved back to December, then we moved out to March, and I think now people are confused about whether it's March or, uh, or maybe this year. For us, uh, it still feels like the incoming data, uh, well, the incoming data is going to be affected by the government shutdown, and that may make it harder for the Federal Reserve to find the data uh, that it wants to, to start tapering uh, QE. For us, though, I think the most important thing for investors to be aware of is that monetary normalization is coming, uh, and that's a good thing. Um, you know, the, the, the U.S. economy has looked for some time to us like it's able to stand on its own two, two feet, uh, and we're looking forward to seeing the investment world unmuddied by QE, so to speak. But do you think that um, we're, there is still a bit of a disconnect between the Fed's view of the most recent data and the way the markets are looking at it? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, like I say, I, I, we feel that the U.S. economy is in much better shape than people suspect. We've, you know, looking at the private sector alone, the private sector has been growing at a 3% a, a plus crip, clip uh, for the last several years, to be honest. I mean, since the beginning of the recovery. Uh, and that's been obscured to a certain extent by the fact that the government has been uh, having to retreat from the economy. And so uh, the sort of aggregate GDP data has looked weaker than perhaps the underlying private sector has been suggesting. Uh, and I think as that need for a government headwind lessons as the deficit falls, um, you know, which will continue to do, and we had more evidence of that last night, uh, the, the sort of, you know, the strength of the private sector will become more apparent, and I think that's probably going to justify, uh, you know, further rises in equity markets and further rises in bond yields for us.